When I saw that animal coming towards me, it was like the largest, most beautiful underwater bird I'd ever seen. straight over my head and I was just awestruck by its beauty, by its form, its function. It was beyond anything I'd ever seen underwater. What we found here in Mozambique now is that there are two distinct species of, of manta rays worldwide, not just here in Mozambique, but worldwide. This is not something that we were actually trying to address in this study. It's something that just came up after looking at mantas here in this population for so long. There are black mantas in the world, which look very different than the common manta, but it is the same species. They're just different color morphs. Initially, I thought this was the same sort of difference. But over time, I started to realize there were many more differences here than just a coloration difference. What we're finding through genetic analysis and morphological analysis is that they're not just shape different. They're not just a different size but they actually probably lead very different lifestyles. What we're thinking is that one of the mantas, the larger one, is more a migratory species that seems to move around the world, have a larger distribution, whereas the other smaller type species that you're finding in very tropical waters is very resident. So these animals are staying in the same places all the time, and that's why people are come in more contact with that particular species than the other ones. This discovery is fundamental to the conservation and management of manta rays because they lead extremely different lifestyles and, and they need different conservation because of that. Migratory species, it's necessary to get collaborative management between different countries, understand their migratory routes, do satellite tagging to understand how they move through the different oceans, whereas intensive fishing pressure on on a more resident type of manta would be disastrous because that population could crash and then there would be no other mantas coming to repopulate it because they aren't migratory. So there are a lot of different problems in the conservation of these two different species and they have to be addressed as such.